Hello everybody. Welcome to Friday's video. I just finished filming the last clip for Monday's video where I talk about my writing and reading and some other stuff that I can't actually remember even though I just finished filming it. So go and check that video out. Um, but yeah, this video is coming out Friday and I cannot wait till halfway in the video to tell you what we're doing for my birthday because I, I'm freaking out and I have to tell someone. So I'm going to tell you the story basically from start to finish. Uh, a few weeks back, probably around the beginning of the month, maybe the end of September, um, my mum and dad, the girls had all gone to bed, so it was just me, mum and dad in the lounge, and dad asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday. Now, normally, all I do is we go out and we get a coffee and we'll stop in Waterstones because I quite often have some birthday money and I'm like, I want books. Um, and then we come home, and so last year we came home, I watched this Tigger movie with the girls, we had a buffet for dinner, and then we watched Grown Ups. And then after that, a few days later, Abby came over for a sleepover and we watched something. But, so this year I was, I said to dad, I don't wanna do the same thing, I'd like to do something a bit more exciting, just cause I'm turning 18 and it's a big birthday, but I don't like, I don't want to party, I don't, I don't want, yeah, I didn't want to party. So dad was like, well, we could, you know, we could, what about going out for a dinner? Like a nice, going out to a nice restaurant and having a dinner and you could invite the cousins and pops and you could invite Ruthie and friends and stuff. Um, so Abby and Ruthie. <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, that sounds, that does sound really nice. Just going out, having a nice dinner with people that I love. Um, yeah, that sounds really nice. And I can invite Ruthie and then I can see my friend. Um, yeah, and then mum from across the room pipes up with, you know, she's on her phone, she's scrolling on her phone. She's just sitting there and she goes, you know, there are flights to Italy on your birthday for 40 something pounds. And so the very next day I get out of bed and mum and dad are looking at flights to Madrid. And later that day, they're looking at passports and the end of by the end of the day by the beginning of the next day i'm like oh this is happening we're, we're, we're going away and they were like yeah so <laughs> on the 4th of november 2022 i will be at like nine o'clock i will be on a flight to madrid for my 18th birthday i'm really excited i think this time next week we'll know the forecast as well so at the moment it's been really sunny and pretty warm in Madrid. So we're all kind of holding out hope that it will be like that while we're there, which would be amazing. Um, but even if it's chopping it down with rain, we're gonna be fine. Um, I've done some research on places that I would like to go. Um, it's just a little list. I'm very aware that we're only there for a few days um, and yeah but it's gonna be amazing. And then, but we get back on the 7th-ish. So we should get home around midnight, one o'clock on the 7th. And then on the the Thursday after, and then on the 10th, we go to see a concert. So if you watched my last video and I said it's a little crazy, you now know why. <laughs> yeah, it is gonna be bonkers that week. It's just gonna be nuts. And then, yeah, but, it's gonna be amazing as well we're gonna have a blast yeah so i don't have much to do today which is great tomorrow don't have much to do it all depends on some emails getting some emails back um and i might actually move one of the things that i have on today to tomorrow so that i can focus so one i have to do i have to start on my 2020 2023 i've started my first six months of 2023 graphics for instagram and facebook um and i need although they might they'll just be the same pictures just on different different um size graphic grid things i don't know um and then the other one is some tutorials on the new editing software i want to start using but i might do the graphics today because that is just finding quotes i have a list of um i have a list of things for them for the six month list of books I'm gonna do. Um, so it's just finding, 
um, quotes for most of them and then Pinterest in, and then finding aesthetic pictures that have to do with the book. Um, yeah. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Uh, it is 10 to 10. I'm getting started a little bit later than normal, which is fun. Uh, I didn't end up reading last night. I didn't really end up doing much last yesterday, like evening time anyway, because I didn't feel very well. So yeah, um, today's to-do list. I need to finish making the Instagram or finish getting the pictures for the aesthetic boards i have an idea of what i'm going to do with my instagram this year but i just need to figure it out and see if it will work um hopefully it will it should be fine i need to watch a tutorial on the new editing software uh i need to do some client work and then um i need to start reading so i'm hoping to have everything other than the reading done by kind of like one two ish in the afternoon and then i've got the afternoon and the evening to read um yeah that's the plan for today hopefully we'll be able to do it but to do that i need to put the camera down so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do things number one i'm not gonna get all my work done before 12. it is 11.05 and i'm still doing my client work um for a good reason it was a little more detailed than i anticipated um so yeah we're not going to get it done by 12 which is completely fine um yeah just might have a little less time for reading later which is completely it's it's fine yeah i need to stop saying completely fine um number two today is the 25th of october tuesday the 25th which means dreaming about the boy next door by sarah Sutton is now out Go and get this book. It is a best friend's brother trope. Um, you know, it's a boy next door trope. And I kid you not, I'm gonna put the dedication up on the screen now. This dedication is amazing. It might be my favorite dedication she has written. Um, but yeah, go and buy this book. It is brilliant. Dreaming About the Boy Next Door by Sarah Sun. I think this is book eight. Is this book eight? Let's check, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Book number eight. I will leave a link down below to where you can grab your copy. Good morning. There we go. Uh, today's Wednesday. I have some time before I go to see my friend. I think we'll be leaving soon, actually. So I decided just to go through um, and start on edits, plainly because I don't actually have anything else I want to do right now or I feel like doing. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We have a cat on the windsill. Um, but yeah. I'm very, very excited and I do have some money to buy some books. Um, so I'm very, very excited. I haven't been to the bookstore in ages, so it's gonna be nice.
Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday the 27th. 27th. I had an amazing time with my friend yesterday. It was so nice to see her and to catch up. Um, if you're watching this, thank you so much for an amazing day. She, yeah, it was so nice to see her. I got to hear her play a bit of the piano. Um, yeah, got to chat, to catch up. Um, so we also exchanged birthday presents. Her birthday is the first, mine is the 4th of November. Um, so we exchanged birthday presents. I'm going to not, I'm not going to show you what she got me. I'll show you the books that I bought myself. Um, there's a problem with one of the books that, so I have to take it back. Um, so I won't show you that one, but I'll show you the other two that I'm going to keep. And then if you want to find out what my friend got me, you will have to wait for the birthday video, which is coming out sometime after my birthday. I'm not quite sure. Okay, here are the books I got. I got, I went, okay, let me tell you the story. I went looking and I had two books that I really wanted to get. I wanted to get Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, which is one of the Lunar Chronicles books, because I had, I have Winter. I won that in a competition. Marissa Meyer signed it and sent it to me. Um, so I have Winter, I've had Winter for years. And then I bought Cinder and Cress while we were away on holiday because there was this old bookshop and those were the two they had. They had winter as well, but they already had a copy of winter. So I wanted Scarlet, <clears throat> and then I wanted Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston because I have Geekerella. I bought, I won Bookish and the Beast when it first came out. I bought Geekerella and I bought it secondhand and it was like good as new. That was the thing. It's like secondhand, good as new. It came, it's, it, it's damaged. It is really damaged. So we got in touch and they refunded us. And I just, I just, I bought another copy and it came and it was fine. And I, I it was a gift for um, a friend. So I gave that her the good copy and then I kept the other one. So I have Geekerella and Bookish on the Beast in like physical copies, paperback copies. And then on my Kindle, I have Geekerella and Princess and the Fangirl. So I wanted Princess and the Fangirl paperback because then I'll have all three. It's the first time I've gone to Waterstones and they haven't had them. I didn't get the two books that I wanted, but I got two other books and I'm very happy with these. I got three. Like I said, one of them, there's a little problem with it. So I've got to take it back. Um, I think I have 60 days to do so. So I have until December and I'm actually hoping to go to Slender Noah with Abby sometime next month. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, here's what I got. I got the Undercover Princess by Connie Glynn. The other book I got is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. I think this is going to be the last clip of this vlog. I know that I haven't done much, um, but a lot of my time has just been spent prepping for next year. Content wise, I now have a rough plan of what we're doing. Um, it is quite a lot. It is quite, quite a lot. Uh, yeah, so next Monday's video will be the last one for a few weeks. Um, I obviously, it's my birthday and I will be away. And then after that, um, I just have a very busy week. So I don't know whether I will get anything out that week, the week after the 4th. Um, so we're looking at a few weeks of no content. Um, so yeah, but I will be back on my Instagram in a few days i think it's like the seventh um the seventh i think is when i go back on instagram i think it's a bit before that but i'll, I'll be on my away so i'm not yeah so it's the seventh or eighth i will be back on instagram so be sure to go and follow me there the link will be in the description um yeah please don't forget to sign up for my book club we will be reading what are friends for by sarah sutton um and don't forget to go and buy dreaming about the boy next door by sarah sutton um yeah i will see you all next time bye